All right. According to XF1 senior systems engineer Dan Drury, known as Engine Mode 11 on Twitter, Formula One cars have an IP address. When asked if this meant that the car could be hacked, sense. Drury replied that the external actors aren't the main concern with this system. It's the internal electronics team who might accidentally connect to the wrong car or flash the engine control unit of a car that is already running. Drury then implied that this kind of thing had happened before and had destroyed the engine of the car in question. According to Drury, he had the unfortunate job of trying to deploy Wi-Fi trackside and the amount of noise and overlapping networks in the pit lane gave him an aneurysm. Discussion question. Would you be comfortable driving this type of car if you knew somebody could accidentally remote detonate the engine? I mean, there's lots of cars that are very hackable. Yeah. Um, and there's certain reasons why I am happy that I still have the car that I have. Um, Ooh, actually, I want to derail this. You had a big budget. Let's say a uh, hundred grand US. Whoa. So you got a big car budget. That's like... A lot of Canadian dollars. Yeah, it's a lot of Canadian. It's That's like 135,000, something like dollars. that. 130, 140,000 Canadian dollars. So you can basically buy any any car, like functionally. Yeah. Like obviously, okay, you're not getting a tricked out G wagon, but you wouldn't, so it doesn't matter. Um, so you've got you've got a hundred grand. Uh, and really, what I'm getting at here is moderner features versus less moderner features. But like, you could get a really nice older car for that money or you could buy something new that would also be really nice but it might report your driving habits to your insurance company for example a hypothetical example it's not like that happened recently in the last <laughs> month or so <laughs> um talk to me 100 acuras stop it dan i like that I was thinking you get seven cars in seven colors and then you can have one for every day of the yeah. week. I think the biggest issue at that point would be parking them. No, you just leave it. And get, <laughs> just like, <laughs> like you go millionaire mode, but like, go like to Walmart underwear where you only wear it once except it's cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, an old imported Japanese Hillocks would be cool. Um, the, the only like, I think, I don't, this might bother some people, but driving electric cars is, I find, very not satisfying. So dropping the gas engine makes me kind of sad. Also, it would be incompatible with where I live. We have mm -hmm. one parking spot that you can charge a car in, and uh, Emma already has an electric car. So, like, me having an electric car would be, like, actually genuinely very annoying. Um, I'd have to, like, live off of the plugs here. Which or, a lot of people do. Which a lot of people do do. Or I'd be having to s swap our, our parked positions like constantly. That would be a pain in the butt. Which would be very annoying. So like, I don't really want to do that. If I, if I did do that, um, there was, uh, you mean Hilux? Yeah, uh, that's what he said, right? I said Hilux. I don't know. Whatever. Do people call it Hilux? It's a Japanese word anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, what's the name of that band? The the uh, the cars have those like tall vertical oval headlights. Oh, Rivian. Rivian. There was a r somewhat recent Rivian announcement. Um, is it the R three X? Is that it? But I thought you didn't want an electric. I don't. But then, like, what else is super modern that I would want? I don't know. One of these? One of... Uh, it's on my screen. One of these. Yeah, R3X. R3X. It didn't look quite the same as what was on your screen. But that I don't was, know. I haven't looked into it a lot because, honestly, cars on there's a 0% chance I buy one. Yeah, I know. So, like... <laughs> I guess what I wanted to know is, would like you cool, would though. you give up that peace of mind of knowing that your car cannot oh. be remotely accessed for modern creature comforts and performance. That's the question. I think I will have to eventually. I will be somewhat forced to. Canada is making it so that uh, all new cars that get sold are electric cars. All electric cars are going to have these types of features in them. 
Um, I don't think there's any getting away from that. Even though it's completely unnecessary, you don't have to have an electric car that has all these smart features, and we could have cheaper cars that don't have them. Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone's going to go that route. I don't think there's going to be cars that are available that way. Um, but yeah, I don't really want them. Like I, I'll, I'll drive my my partner's car, and I'll like intentionally want to drive in a certain way, but her like lane assist thing. Well, like, and I'm like, that was actually dangerous pretty much every time it happens. Cause I was yeah. like, I knew what I was doing. I was intending to do the thing that I was doing. I was driving with intention and properly. And then the car was like, nope, go over there. And it's like, whoa, man. I don't know. I found that especially bad when you're driving in like construction areas. Cause they'll traffic cone you mm -hmm. across a line. I'm yep. not supposed to signal right now, but if I don't signal, the car is going to try to rip me over. Yep. And it's like, man, this is not cool actually i don't really like those types of features i understand they might help some people that's cool whatever i don't want them personally um i also have no interest in my car being tracked i have no interest in any of that type of stuff i don't need any of those features i don't care my car doesn't have apple uh play my car doesn't have uh whatever the android one is android, android auto. auto i don't care i just bluetooth my phone into it it's fine it's pretty nice I don't care. Android Auto was a game changer for me. I would never buy a car without it. Why? What What particular feature? Uh, just maps. I just put my phone up. Yeah, but it's it, like it's wireless now. So you just don't do anything. You just literally have your phone in your pocket and you're just in your car and then everything just works. I get in my car with my phone in my hand and I go... And then it's done. Which is which is fine, <laughs> but I don't I don't need to spend like <laughs> an incredible amount more money to automate that. <laughs> I can do that just fine. I'll be all right. Dude, I don't know. I love it. I'm not against it. To be I clear, I love it. I I don't have a huge issue with like Android Auto being in my car. I just don't care at all because my phone can do the thing already ben i'm bob, gaining no functionality ben bob says luke just disrupted android auto yeah with 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 phones <laughs> no people like this stuff i i understand i'm i'm not in the majority here um i just don't care i yeah that's fair yeah luke is the biggest tech luddite i don't agree either um, I just don't care about that. Yep. Um, I care more about what my car can do, how resilient my car is, those types of See, things. See, I'm surprised you didn't come up with something cool. Like this was like posted what? by Langley Man in the chat. You could buy two of these. 94 RX-7, <laughs> five-speed manual, <laughs> extensive know? modifications. Dang. <laughs> I almost, Dang. I almost <laughs> Me bought after a cold shower. You know, my car that I have outside was almost an RX-7. I was shopping for RX-7s before I got that one. The reason why I didn't get one is because I don't fit very well in the car. Yeah, that's fair It's enough. very small. <laughs> Poor cool, Luke. though. Rotary engine. Well, maybe. This guy's done a lot of work to it. It might be something else at this point, but... Oh, there's there's no way you could still call it an RX-7 without it having a rotary engine. Hey, come on. Yeah, people still would. The good old wanker modal. Wanker modal? Wanker, whatever. I thought it was no, like it's wankle. wankle. It's wankle. I'm just <laughs> okay. I was just trying to get you to, All right. and then I like did it wrong. I don't really <laughs> it. Oh my god, it's so funny. I can't. The people like enthusiasts for this stuff are so predictable. Every single time I, I say that, they immediately unironically correct me. It's like, guys, I know, I know. That's pro that's probably like. That's probably my phone blowing up from someone internally who's upset about it. Just relax. I know. Yes, wankle. Okay. I'm 6'4 and fit in an NA Miata. I've, I've actually had people tell me that I should try sitting in a Miata. My biggest thing is um, I'm like tall average, I'd say. Um, but almost all my height is in my torso. <clears throat> it's weird. I'll sit next to people that are many inches taller than me. And we look the same height, and then we stand up, and I'm like short compared to them. It's 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 odd. Um, the, I I constantly get people that will because like if I sit up, my chair is at the bottom, his is at the top, and if I sit up properly, I'm still taller than he is. People constantly at shows will come up to me and say that I'm a lot shorter than they expected. Did you know this? Really? I get that every single time I go me to too. a show. At least one person. <laughs> and the, the answer is always because they see our Delta and expect me to be, like, enormous. Right, okay. And I'm like, well, no. 
my torso is just really tall and we're often autocorrecting for like leg length. I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. So I, I have traditionally had a bit of an issue with sitting in cars, but everyone tries to like scoot their seat up to give me extra leg room. And I'm like, yeah, that's actually not the problem. <laughs> that's like not going to help me very much at all, actually. My legs are probably fine. Oh, uh, poor Luke. Yeah, it yeah, it's it tough is. to be Luke. It's all right, actually. 